It's today's RB and Throwbacks, Mike Kiss 1031, and I got a very special guest joining me on the phone line today. You'd have seen this lady all over your TV, all over the movies. And, of course, she's going to be back in the CTX next week for the Pop In, Pop Out comedy series at the Twice as Funny Comedy Lounge. It's great to get to talk to her again. Ladies and gentlemen, Coco Brown is on the phone. How are you today? What is up? Hey, baby, how are you? What's up, Colleen? <laughs> I'm doing great, darling. How you been? I've been good, you know, busy and blessed and frustrated and stressed. All at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> All at the same damn time. Well, listen, we got about you. that. Yeah, no about doubt. That. Now we got you coming down next week at the Twice as Funny Comedy Lounge. Tell the folks about it. Oh my god, I'm so excited. You know, these are my people. You know, I was coming to the club before. They told me that they have gone on to do bigger and better things. You know, and 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 bless things. And I'm I'm so excited to be coming down, especially with my boy Talent. It's just comedy. I mean, he's like a brother to me. I wouldn't even be as far as I am in this career if it wasn't for him taking me under his wing. 20 some odd years ago. So to always work with people that mentored you and, and, and had your back, you know, it's always a, it's like being with family. And then, of course, coming down to my Colleen family, I'm, I'm ready to come in. I've got so much new material because the sister been through some things, honey. Ooh, child, yes. Ooh, child, I'm yes. I'm y'all ready. <laughs> I'm y'all ready because I ain't holding back nothing, nothing. No doubt. Don't forget, uh, she's going to be here next week at the Twice as Funny Comedy Lounge Pop In, Pop Out Comedy Series. Uh -huh. Uh, along with comedian talents, uh, it's going to be great to have y'all back in the market. And uh, speaking of those trials and tribulations and all the stress troubles you've been going through, uh, you know, I follow mm -hmm. you. I follow you on Twitter, and I see you had to go run some receipts on somebody that was trying to trying to uh, call you out <laughs> on them, baby. It was crazy. I was working a club in my hometown of all places, and there was a particular comic, young comic, mm -hmm. which I'm I'm very big on giving younger new comics an opportunity. Mm -hmm. And anybody that knows me knows that. I bring them on the road to open for me, to host for me, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind sharing the information or, the, or whatever. Mm -hmm. So the young comic was hosting for me. Poor baby just wasn't ready. And he was crashing and burning every time he touched that stage. And it got so bad that people that did not know me or did not know my opening act were walking out of the club. On wow. Day. And wow. he was the host. Wow. So, the manager of the club made a business executive decision to replace him with someone more seasoned. Well, for whatever reason, this young comic decided to spread a rumor in my hometown where I was birthed <laughs> that, I, that I kicked him off the show because he was married to a white woman. What? <laughs> now, bro, if anybody knows me, they know I am very friendly, honey. I am the United Colors of Dayton men of all races and creeds and colors, honey. I'm like, bro, and my grandfather is a freaking octoroon. My grandfather had blue eyes and blonde hair. He had one drop of black blood. He did business as a white man and married a black woman. Please do not come for me on some crap you ain't done the history. Someone actually had the nerve to tell me maybe I should watch Loving. Maybe you should check my history because Ruth Loving is a distant cousin so maybe you should check my dna before you come for me how about that huh. you know so i had to read somebody for phil you know what i mean because i'm like don't come for me especially on some bull crap as ludicrous as i am a racist child please you know my child light skin <laughs> <laughs> Swift, please. okay please. Uh, she had to run, I, I, so, I saw that i was like boy she is running these receipts <laughs> you know, i'm like how dare you and the thing was it's like I didn't even know dude was married to a white woman right. until after he had already been dismissed from the show. Mm -hmm. And somebody said, um, they said, oh, girl, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, he married to a white woman. I mean, that went in one ear and out the other. I don't care. Do you know how many biracial cousins and friends and God kids I have? I'm like, so for you to say, instead of you just owning up to the fact that you were not ready mm -hmm. and that you were just out of your element, you had not been in the game, the business, and enough clubs of warrant to hold your own in a seven to ten minute spot, and the manager made an executive decision when people were asking for their money back because of you, you want to come for me. And mind you, you just told me the night before that I was the only veteran comic that sat down and actually dropped some pearls on you and talked to you. Mm-hmm. So you had to get them. So, I mean, you know, so I was like, mm -mm, don't do that. Don't do that. Because at this point in my life, I'm so grown. I'm like five years shy of an AARP magazine, brother. <laughs> I ain't got time to be dealing with people and their hangups and their mess. If I get, look, I got a master's degree, honey. I read very well. You understand me? Yes, most definitely. You read very well. And also you read these very receipts well, and, they will read, like, and you will read them for filth. 
Yes, I will. Yes, I will. I, I ain't got time. I ain't got time. No, I'm grown. I'm grown. I'm frustrated. Okay. <laughs> well, let's get I'm some grown. of that. Well, let's get some of that frustration and that energy off on the stage Absolutely. next week. I can't wait to touch this mic on Tuesday and Wednesday. I hope the people are ready, honey, because I'm not holding Jack back. You understand me? No doubt. No doubt. Coco Brown talent this uh, next week, March 12th and 13th at the Twice as Plenty yeah. Comedy Lounge. Tickets are on sale now at twiceasplentycomedylounge.com. You can also call them up at 254-661-5561 so you can get your hands on some of these tickets. And uh, you got anything else you're working on right now, darling? You know what? I mean, no, not, no, no, no disrespect, no competition, but I have a new hot podcast that is going into its second month and it's getting rave reviews. It's on YouTube Live. It's called The Coca Brown Show. It comes on Monday nights at 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. You can check it out on YouTube.com. And my channel is Coca Brown, the number four life. That's C O C O A Brown, the number four life.com. This is strictly for my grown folks, straight no chase, that we catching tea and serving tea. That's what we're doing every Monday night. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. We love podcasts, okay. man. No, no, we support podcasts over here. So, yeah. No hating over here. Uh, just so most yeah. definitely go check it out on YouTube, the Coco Brown podcast. What's, what's, what's the name of it again? One more time. It's the Coco Brown show, but under YouTube, it's Coco Brown, the number four life. That's C O C O A B R O W N, the number four L I F E. Coco Brown, the number four life. All right, there you go. So don't don't forget to go check out her podcast, but make sure you bring your behinds to come see her. Yes, bring your butt, honey, to the pop up. Yes, we yes. <laughs> <laughs> she pop it in and pop it out. Well, they call it the jump in, yes, jump sir. out series. So you're jumping in and absolutely, jumping back out. Absolutely. March twelfth and thirteenth. Maybe I'll give me a nice military man to make me stay. How about up, that? There y'all go. There y'all go, <laughs> fellas. Sport hood. There you go. Just look. I'm just saying, baby. I'm all about the first and the fifteenth. I'm very pleasurable between the first and the fifteenth. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so come see Coco Brown <laughs> <laughs> Tuesday and Wednesday. Soldiers, get your you get your get your uh get uh get your deers and your information together. Yes, uh, <laughs> yes, yes. And we do take AC's cards. We do take AC's cards. Yes. Okay. <laughs> come see her Tuesday and Thursday, twice as funny comedy lounge. Coco, I appreciate your time, darling. Thank you so much. For for giving me some time Thank to you, talk baby, about it. Me. See you soon. No doubt. All we'll right, see baby. you next week. You guys have a great okay, one. Baby.